Please welcome Amit Hayut, Yasum Hebrew University. Hello, I'm Amit Hayut, the Vice President of Business Development in the Physical Sciences at the Hebrew University's Technology Transfer Company, Yasum. It is my pleasure to introduce you so-called innovative technology. The sun has always been a part of humankind and a source of heat for our world. So-called cutting edge technology is fully green solution, addressing the world's most pressing climate change issues. So-called has created a coating that when applied, it takes the sun's heat and turns it into a cooling effect decreasing the amount of energy we need to use. I've nominated this startup because I believe what they have will revolutionize the solar sector and will redefine the sun as humankind has known it until now. Sokol's technology is cost-effective, energy efficient, and can be applicable in countless fields. Well done, Sokol, and I wish you best of success. Breaking the wall to sun's cooling force, Christina Trotman, Soul Cold. Hi, I'm Christina, and I'm here to talk about Soul Cold's innovation. I come from a small Middle Eastern country where we suffer the consequences of the rising temperatures that I believe the whole world will encounter tomorrow. Did you know that during the summer, the peak energy consumption, which is about 40%, is due to air conditioning? Did you know? that cities are hotter by five degrees than outside of the city, I'm here to break that wall by introducing so-called innovative cooling coating that looks like this. It's a sticker with a thickness about 0.3 millimeters. And when it's, when it's exposed to the sun, it has a cooling power of 60 watts per square meter. How does it work? Our product is composed of four different layers. When it's exposed to the sun, a certain photon is going to be absorbed by the second layer, which is the green layer. Then that layer is going to emit another photon, which is at higher energy than the one that was absorbed. This unique phenomenon is called anti-Stokes fluorescence. A cooling effect is going to occur through that coating. So-called holds two patents upon that unique technology. In addition, radiative cooling is going to emit excess of thermal heat and contribute more to the cooling effect. In May 2021, we started our first demo center. We've coded cars, tents, communication boxes. Let's focus on car, because it's an interesting case. Did any of you been in a car in a hot country during the summer? Let me describe you this. The average temperature inside the car is going to be between 50 to 60 degrees. It's hot. By putting so-called coating on the rooftop and on the dashboard, there is a difference of about 50 degrees that can be measured. It's sensible. Also, by putting your hand on that coating, as you can see from the thermal picture here, you can feel that it's different from the environment. We've measured three degrees below shade temperature. Where you apply our product, basically, anywhere, as long as it's exposed to the sun, somewhere outdoors, and there is a need to cool it down. Markets from all around the world have contacted us. They seek for green and simple cooling solutions. From markets from the list that you can see here. For example, Changi Airport, the biggest airport in Singapore. Singapore sits on the equator. They have summer the whole year. Volkswagen, they will show off their future car with new embedded technologies. So-called is one of only two companies to participate outside Volkswagen headquarters. DSV, a giant Danish logistics company. We cannot rely only upon air conditioning anymore. Our go-to-market plan is basically divided to three stages. The last years, we contributed for a massive R&D where we've successfully developed our first product to be three degrees below shade temperature. For the upcoming year, we're going to start our small scale production. This will help us to work with our 15 to 20 pilots that we're currently in contact with. 
Also, to start our first pre-sale of $2 million, we have a licensing with a European uh, manufacturer. This will help us in further years to contribute and to spread our product rapidly and globally. We believe to make our break even by 2024. In parallel, our R&D group is going to continue to add new features and to develop our product and increase our cooling power even more. We've only scratched the surface of our technology. <coughs> there are more to open. Thank you very much. Everybody is so much on time. This is wonderful. We have right away a question here. One, two, three questions, four questions. OK. Yes. I'm not sure if that was the first one, but OK. interested in the sustainability of the materials which you use to create these coatings because uh, I'm guessing about it, but maybe you could tell us something about how, where these materials come from and how you think the sustainability of producing your compound material will be. Okay, yeah, so during the process, um, the materials that we are using currently is polymers. Most of those materials, they are not harmful, as you can see, I can just catch it with my hand, and it's not emitting anything that is dangerous. So basically, it's a material and a coating that has a life cycle of about between five to 10 years. Um, and I believe that afterwards, you just need to exchange it. And it's pretty stable materials. So nothing dangerous is emitted to the environment and wasteful. So it's more important. Thank you. Second question was, I think, you. Right. Yeah, it goes in the same direction. Also, the, the materials you're using, uh, do, do you have any information available about the costing of the materials itself? Currently, and the, uh, and the, uh, the, let's say, pr um, precision of the manufacturing process you're intending to do. Okay, so the cost of the material currently, because we're on the pilot stage, uh, so one square meter is about $60. So uh, for the scale up that we're currently aiming for, we're going to decrease it below $20 uh, for one square meter. So uh, as for the second question, during our process, currently we want to do a roll to roll. So creating like a sticker and coding like that. <laughs> OK. The next question was one of you. Oh, you, sorry. And then we'll yeah. have you. You have, you, have, you have a range of different applications, right? And you yes. start with cars. So would the same sheets of material be applicable for industrial production, let's say, or for buildings? It can be applied on buildings. It can be applied on communication boxes, radars. We have many, many, many markets. <laughs> They've contacted us about those things. So everybody is interested about co uh, cooling, green cooling solutions because there are places that you cannot cool. OK, next question here. Thank you. Quick one. How unique is the idea? I mean, what about competitors? OK, my, uh, our, well, well, okay. that's great. <laughs> our uniqueness is basically a process called anti-stokes fluorescence. And we are the only company to use anti-stokes. No other company can do that because it's a very delicate uh, physical and chemical reaction that can happen basically at labs conditions and to scale it up was pretty difficult one. So this is the uniqueness. Wonderful. Here? Yeah, coming back to the variation of the applications, you, you must need to be a second or third tier supplier. How do you want to manage that in, in the sales process? I didn't hear you, so sorry. Yeah, you, you won't be at the first industry level talking about industry. Yes. Second, third tier supplier, how do you want to manage that sales process through the different channels? Um, 50 seconds left. So what we would like to do is we have our, currently we're, we're working with our pilots and our manufacturer will be roll to roll. We want to supply it as fast as possible, of course, because this is the aiming of what we're trying to do. And I guess. <laughs> okay. We had a question here in the first row. No? OK. So, yeah. Sorry, yeah. we had yes, a silly question here. Yes. Uh, can you explain a little bit the origin of the base materials that you're using? The 17 seconds. origin of the base, ma base materials? Uh, we, f a few of them we've bought in uh, China. And they are stable. They are materials that you can find actually like in everyday use. This is, this is also. Is it a mined material? This is what? Mined? Uh, is it a mined yeah. material out of the ground? No. Okay. Okay. That's that's it on zero again. Thank you very much. <laughs>